and welcome to What's on the Shelf. I'm your host Jen and today is Monday. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. I hope it hasn't been too stressful and I hope you get to relax later this week. So um, usually on Mondays what do we do? We, watch, uh, we recommend manga, we talk about the manga we've read. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done one of these uh, just because work's been busy. I was sick. Uh, <laughs> sunstroke is a very real thing. Be careful. Put some suntan lotion on and hydrate. Uh, I'm still hydrating <laughs> from my little episode there. Uh, so we're going to get right down to the pile of books that we read. Um, I didn't get to read as much as I wanted to in the end of April, but hopefully um, next week I'm on vacation. So I am hoping to catch up on a lot of reading. Um, and finishing the board game room, a studio setup, and everything like that. Uh, if you have not kept, caught any of the images and stuff, make sure to check all our social medias other than on here. I might do a little tour, like a sneak preview tour of the board game room uh, later next week, but we'll see. So let's get down to it. Welcome to Manga Mondays. I'm your host, Jen, uh, and we'll get straight down to it. So we have seven C's that we were reading uh, this week, the publisher. So I have this lovely book called The Case Files of Jeweler Richard. Uh, it's really, really well done. It's not quite a BL, but it might be there. I don't know. It, it, there's a lot of development going on in the first book. So essentially Richard is the blonde guy. His associate in the background is, I believe it's pronounced Siggy. Um, essentially he shows, uh, he bumps into Richard, saves Richard's like, from an incident that's happening and uh, essentially they get acquainted and end up working together. Uh, I do have book two already, so I cannot wait to read. Uh, don't mind the damage on the book. Uh, unfortunately, I got it through Amazon and it got damaged in the shipping. A um, little disappointed, but I'm still gonna keep a hold of it um, because return policy stuff is just really a hectic pain in the butt. Um, but overall, must read pick up for a new series. Uh, from my understanding, this was originally a light novel uh, that they turned into an anime, now manga. So make sure to take a look for this one in your local bookstores. Next, because they're so cute and adorable and they're back, the Cat Masseuse uh, Massage Therapy. So in this book, we get introduced to a new cat who is just simply adorable um, and very demanding. <laughs> It's uh, quite interesting. So you've got your your original cast of characters, the trainees, plus the, the owner and his sidekick. Plus you get to meet uh, Nikamari. Um, is it Nikamari? I'm trying to remember what her name is. Uh, da, 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 da. Mr. Miss Aroma. She's uh, very cool looking. She's all prop improper. But uh, if you're looking for something cute and like to read, this is definitely something I would suggest. I will continue the series until it's finished. It's just too adorable. Uh, and again, toe beans. <laughs> so to move on to my next uh, publisher that I was reading, we're going to go and move on to KC. So I got around to reading... Uh, Beauty and the Beast of Lost Paradise. This series is getting so good. This is only book four. I can't wait to see what happens next. Um, essentially in this book we get a little bit deeper into what Mademoiselle wants from the Beast. Um, surprising twists happen with the bells. Yes, I said bells as imperial, as in multiple. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really picking up. And with the way things left on this book, book five is going to be extremely interesting. Um, highly recommend uh, if you are a fan of Angel Sanctuary and Alice in Murderland. Like, it's that kind of a genre dark uh, storytelling. Um, and essentially, it, it's not too pricey either, but I highly recommend it. Uh, we also get to see a softer side of a couple of the characters that have been kind of dickish really in the series so far um and I really can't wait to see what ends up happening 
because I hope it goes well, but you know, who knows? Uh, I zoomed through uh, books three, four, five, six, seven, eight of bitch, uh, bitch, the witch and the beast. Um, so let me just pull up the first book. So book three, uh, essentially we get to get a little bit more information about the background between, um, the two main characters, why they're even working together. Um, and it's really intense. Uh, I thought it was going to be something more romantic. No, it's very in-depth. Um, then we also have... I'm trying to remember. Ah, yes, okay. It, it's been a, a week or so since I've read these. So in book three, we get more detail about the main characters. In book four... We get to meet the demon sword and a witch who controls it. Uh, this sword is amazingly strong. It could destroy the world. And we get to see the effect it has on the human body and mind. We also get to meet the um, mysterious and forbaying, uh, like, holy knights. Um, and, oh man, I, I hate them. <laughs> I hate them with passion. Um... Let me just double check something real quick. Oh, uh, it looks like I may have only read up to book six. I thought I had read book uh, seven and eight, but I think I might have misplaced them while I was trying to read these. Uh, give me a sec. I'm going to double check my Goodreads because I note every book I read. I am currently ahead of schedule for my reading challenge. Uh, reading challenge. Let's see. Oops. So yes, that is, is accurate. I only read up to book seven. So I do have book, uh, book six. I do have book, uh, seven and eight to read because I had not realized I hadn't read them. Bad Jen for missing manga. <laughs> so in book uh, six, we get to see the hidden world uh, that lives within the world of the series. And essentially there's like a central pole um, like area that goes into like a world of vampires, a world of werewolves, a world without magic. And it's really, really interesting because we find out in the previous book that the particular witch that cursed our main character might be hiding out in one of the other worlds instead of being in her world exactly. So I will definitely catch you up on the rest of the books. I will definitely be reading. Hold on. So that one we went through. This one we went through. So I will be going through book uh, ooh, that's book five. Where did book six go? Book seven and eight of uh, The Witch and the Beast. Um, because I oopsed and thought I did read them and I hadn't. So I will definitely make sure to follow up with those ones and give you more information on those. So unfortunately, that's uh, everything I read in the last three weeks. Because again, it's been crazy uh, trying to get stuff going. Um, so... My reading list for the upcoming week or the upcoming month, because we are close to the end of May. We're halfway through May, so we'll see how much I get reading done. I will be following up on book seven and eight of Witch and the Beast. Um, oh, wait, there was one more that I did read this week, which is a new publisher, uh, because we haven't seen them before or haven't mentioned them before. Uh, and it's a shoujo beat. So I started reading Daytime Shooting Star. I have like the entire collection because it's 12 books long. So this is definitely something I will be picking up and reading. I've read the first book. 
So essentially the main character, uh, Suzumi, has moved from her small village to Tokyo to live with her uncle because her parents have moved away. And uh, this is the onslaught cast of people she's currently involved with at school. Um, she was kind of a weird child in her village, as in the sense of, like, she um, she daydreamed a lot. And she's got this fascination with seeing stars during the day. We're not quite sure what that leads up to, but we'll find out, I guess. So in the first book, she makes friends, learns a lesson, um kind of has a mini crisis over her teacher um and it continues in book two um i started reading book two just before i started streaming so i will definitely be continuing the series uh of 12 books as well as reading book one through five of mint chocolate because i definitely can't wait to see what ends up happening in this series as well this is a yan press book not a sojo beat let me just change the logo. So yes, uh, Yan Press. Uh, it looks very interesting. I did read the first book already, but I'm going to reread it because uh, it's been a while since I've read the series. And we'll go from there. Uh, so that's currently everything on my read list right now. Uh, because life has been crazy. And I hope everyone is having a good evening. And they're not stressing too much. And you're staying hydrated. I will take a sip of water to that. So yes, summer is around the corner. It's beginning to be nice outside. So I hope you have time to relax and read. Maybe get to read some good mango or a good book. And uh, we'll see you next time at the shelf. Uh, we will be back next Monday with more Manga Monday. Uh, I'll try and go into more details about the series I'm working on, uh, give you a little summary a little bit more than what I give you new today, just because it's been a busy week again for me. Um, and if there's anything you guys want to see or you're interested in seeing, um, please hit me up in the comments, uh, hit me up on our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the social medias. Um, we do have big news. We will be um, demoing this weekend at Check Swing. So if you're local to the Montreal area, make sure to hit us up because we'll be showing a new game that hasn't come out yet. And it's going to be a great party game for when summer hits full on. Um, so make sure to follow us on our social medias. We've already posted the location and what time. It will be Saturday from noon to 5. Uh, and we'll catch you there at the table. Bye all. Have a good evening. I'm your host, Jen. Mwah.